How much would it cost to reattach an amputated arm? What types of injuries can a chop like this cause? And what would Gon expect to pay for his medical bills for all the injuries he sustained in the Hunter x Hunter anime? Welcome back everyone, I'm Dr. Maddie, and thanks for joining me for another episode of Anime Medical Bills. Today, the character in question is Gon Freak from the Hunter x Hunter anime, but please let me know if there's any other characters you'd like me to cover. For anyone who's unfamiliar with the Hunter x Hunter anime, I need to give you a warning that there are some spoilers ahead. And with that being said, let's put Gon up on the screen, and if you're ready, let's begin. Now, strangulation in this instance is unlikely going to cause any serious injury because his soccer lets him go. However, if he had squeezed tighter, he may have caused damage to his underlying larynx, which could make it very difficult to speak and also painful to swallow. Other features we see with strangulations is where the capillaries burst around the strangulation site, causing what we call a petechial rash. Now, fortunately, all this needs is a bit of time, so he doesn't need any treatment just yet. <laughs> Okay, so here Gon takes a blow dart to the back of the neck, causing a temporary paralysis. Now, a common poison used in a blow dart like this is something called Kure, and it works by blocking the neuromuscular junction. And what this means is that the muscle is unable to receive the nerve signal, and thereby it causes paralysis. Now, it's not the poison itself that ends up killing you, but rather the paralysis that it causes to your respiratory muscles. And this is the reason why, if you get hit by one of these darts, you need to have a period of observation in the intensive care setting, which comes in at a cost of $10,000 per night. Oh god, so Gon takes a blow to the jawbone here, which sends him flying. Now, I'd be worried about a mandibular fracture, so as a minimum, we're going to need to get x-rays, and those come in at a cost of $250. And unfortunately, it doesn't end there. If it is fractured, he'll need surgery, and that comes in at an average cost of $13,000. Jaw-dropping, I know. <laughs> Okay, so here Gon sustains a head injury, but fortunately it only looks like a minor one. However, it is important to look out for red flags, such as drowsiness, a change in behaviour, or vomiting after a head injury. If any of these signs do develop, it can be a sign of a more serious head injury that needs medical assessment. <laughs> So a chop to the back of the neck like this can cause various injuries, from a fracture to the vertebral column to a traumatic brain injury such as concussion or damage to the underlying muscle or nerves. But what we see here is likely a traumatic brain injury, as we see Gon's vision go funny before he drops to his knees. Now, much like with all head and neck injuries, symptoms can take some time to develop, so the most sensible thing initially is probably just to have a period of observation. Fortunately for Gon, that's free. Oh god, that's gotta hurt, taking a sucker punch to the gut. Now, the reason a punch like this is so painful is because it injures what's called your solar plexus. Now, this is a bundle of nerves that sit just under your diaphragm, and if triggered, can cause various symptoms, from abdominal pain, to nausea and vomiting, through to difficulty with actually breathing. Combining this with trauma to the diaphragm is enough to take the wind out of anyone. Fortunately, injuries like this don't tend to be severe, so he should make a full recovery. So, 
so it looks like Gon sustained a fracture to his left arm. But we really need to get some x-rays to determine which bones are broken, and this is going to come in at a cost of $250. Now, if he's lucky, he may have just sustained a radius fracture, which is pretty easy to fix. However, if it's something more complicated, like a fracture and a dislocation, then he may well need surgery, which comes in at a cost of $16,000. Who knows, maybe if he passes his hunter exam, he may well get a discount. <laughs> Is it me, or do these kind of remind you of Beyblades? But taking one of those at force to your back is likely going to cause a vertebral fracture, which can also cause nerve damage. So you could get some x-rays to see if there's any signs of a vertebral fracture, but more definitively you'd either want a CT or an MRI, which come in at a cost of $5,000. And the treatment he'll get for his vertebral fracture will come down to the symptoms he's got, with a majority of people just needing pain relief and only a few needing surgery. Oh gosh, a further steel projectile, but this time to Gon's chest. Now I'd really be worried about a sternal fracture because these are incredibly painful and very difficult to treat. They often take several months to heal and most of my patients who have got them end up needing really strong pain relief in the form of either morphine or anaesthetic patches. <laughs> Wow, that is quite a list of injuries. So a fractured radius and ulna, a fractured humerus, as well as several fractured ribs. Just the x-rays alone are going to cost you about $750. Now, depending on whether the fractures are displaced or there are multiple, will determine if you need surgery or not. Really, the options are applying a cast, which comes in at a cost of around $500, or alternatively, he may need multiple surgeries with a minimum cost of $15,000. But by the looks of it, it looks like Gon's gone for the cast option rather than surgery. Oh, okay, so Gon takes a further blow to the back here from Hisoka. But what we're seeing here with Gon having distorted vision is that he's currently semi-conscious. You've got to remember that just before losing consciousness, there's a reduction in the blood supply to the brain as well as to the eyes, which ultimately manifests in these types of symptoms. Fortunately, however, they tend to be temporary and don't lead to any long-term harm. <laughs> <laughs> I really love this anime. The powers are so unique and varied. And I really love the way that they work some science into how the abilities work. For example, how Hisoka is able to use this gum to also stitch his limb back on. And I think it's all these unique laws that make Hunter x Hunter such a rewatchable series. <laughs> Oh gosh, taking a concrete slab to the face. That one made me flinch. I mean, you've really got to be worried about facial fractures here, which we grade out of three for severity. So we're definitely going to need some x-rays so that we can determine that severity. But the average cost of facial reconstructive surgery is around $56,000. And that's not guaranteeing that you're going to look exactly the same. Okay, so here we see Gon face up against Genthru, who has the power to cause anything he touches to explode or turn into a bomb. And it looks like here that Gon has somehow gotten away with just a superficial burn from that explosion to his wrist. And really, for a superficial burn, you just need good first aid treatment, so running your hand under a cold tap for a minimum of 30 minutes. 
くらい分かったぞこ,このガキ両手をしてやがった Oh god, so it looks like this second explosion has caused more extensive injuries to Gon's body. It looks like he's blown his hand off on the left side, and if you look at the skin, it's also black in colour. Now, this tells me that he's got a full thickness burn on that side, and in fact, everything under the skin would just be dead. To be honest, it looks like he has the same on the other side, and that other hand also might need amputating because it's unlikely to have a good blood supply. So, Gon's gonna need to see a vascular surgeon, and the cost of an amputation is anywhere between $20,000 to $60,000. And also, they'll likely clean up the other wrist, giving Gon two stumps rather than two burnt ends. Oh god, so a blow like that to Gon's throat is likely to have caused a fracture to his larynx. Now, this can be life threatening because it can completely close up your airway, leading you to suffocate. And so, this is one of those rare instances where an emergency tracheostomy could save your patient's life. Now, if this was done by a surgeon rather than a big biro to the throat, you'd be looking at a cost of between $50,000 to $100,000. And in some cases, they need to put a stent into the larynx to keep the airway open as everything begins to swell up. <laughs> I like the idea of compounding interest of any life energy that ends up getting stolen. But I have to say, Knuckles' character makes him look like he belongs in the JoJo series rather than Hunter x Hunter. Let me know what you guys think. <laughs> I sometimes feel like this when I'm calculating out the medical bills for these characters. But interestingly, there is a medical condition where people really struggle to grasp concepts of mathematics, and it's called dyscalculia. Now, it's not fully understood why people struggle with this, but it's thought that it may well be related to conditions like ADHD. Unfortunately, there isn't really any cure, but if you think you've got it, go and get some support. <laughs> Okay, so he's taken some of these owl's feathers to his leg. Now, I'm not sure whether these are supposed to be poisonous, but they've definitely caused penetrating sharp trauma to the underlying muscles and tissues. Really, as a starting point, you'd probably just need to go and see a nurse and have them removed. And as a doctor, I really wouldn't be charging you for that. <laughs> Okay, so they're using sound waves here to attack Gon, and it's very difficult to defend yourself when you have your hands covering your ears. But what sort of damage can sound waves cause? Well, generally speaking, sounds above 85 decibels can be damaging to your hearing, particularly with prolonged exposure. However, sound above 110 decibels can cause more immediate damage to your hearing. For example, it can cause a perforation in your eardrum, it can damage the small bones or the ossicles in your inner ear, and also it can damage the cells found within your cochlea in the inner ear. So I think a hearing assessment for Gon would be sensible, and this comes in at a cost of around $100. So, just after one of the greatest anime transformations of all time, Gon goes and gets his arm amputated. Now, with an amputation of that size, you're really looking at a window of around six hours to get this reattached. Now, of course, this can be extended to about eight to ten hours if the limb's been left on ice, but really, the sooner you get to a surgeon, the better. Maybe he could ask Hisoka to do it with his bungee gun power. Nonetheless, in the real world, to get a limb like this reattached, you could be looking at anywhere between tens of thousands to hundreds of thousands of dollars, quite literally costing you an arm and a leg.
Oh god, that's probably one of the most badass ways to take out your opponent, using your amputated arm. So in this end scene here we see Gon is in an intensive care environment and it looks like he's wired up to a life support machine. And the reason someone would be on one of these machines is if they're unable to maintain their vital functions such as breathing, maintaining their blood pressure, regulating their temperature and also allowing you to give them some nutritional intake. And then we get a look at Gon's skin and we can see that it's really shriveled up and his body looks lifeless. You can clearly tell that that transformation took everything out of him. To be honest, he may well even be brain dead, which means that if they turned off that life support machine, he would effectively die. Now, in the US, if you don't have medical insurance, it costs about $10,000 a day to keep someone alive on one of these machines. And we don't even know how long that Gon has been in this situation. As a minimum, we'll have to say it's been about a week, which adds $70,000 to his final medical bill. Okay guys, those are all of Gon's medical bills and his grand total comes out to this. Now, as I said before, if there are any other characters from this series or any other that you'd like me to do some medical bills on, please leave those down in the comments below. Otherwise, if you're free just now and you want to check out another video, why not check out one of these two? Otherwise, as always, thanks for watching guys and I'll see you all in the next one. Thanks.